Welcome back guys, Eric with FisherDrumming.com. Good to be back with you on the next lesson. In this one, we're gonna be going over three groovy hi-hat patterns. Yes, these are a little funky, they're a little tasty, and it's all about spicing up your grooves by altering and manipulating the hi-hat. So let's take a look at that, let's get started. <laughs> Now there's a lot of different ways we can alter our grooves. There's a lot of different things we can do to make the groove sound different. A few of those would be looking at accents, using rests, changing up the patterns and the subdivisions within the groove. So a lot of different things you can look at. What I wanna do in this lesson is I wanna take a standard simple groove that pretty much all of you would know how to play. And this is a standard four on the floor kick, backbeat on two and four. Just a good old solid pocket dance groove. Here we go. Straightforward, right? Now, what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna keep the kick and snare exactly the same. And we're just gonna change up that pattern with the hi-hat. So the way we're gonna change up the standard hi-hat pattern with the eighth notes on this first example is pretty basic and simple, but it totally changes up the feel. So. I was thinking of a, a little guitar riff in my head. Sometimes we get stuck and we're just playing the drums by ourselves, and maybe we don't have uh, uh, any music that we're playing along to, but you want to play something musical. Well, think of a little guitar riff in your head. Think of some type of musical line in your head and then try to adapt that to the drums. Try to play that melody on the drums. So that's just a little creative method that you can use. So this hi-hat is gonna follow that little guitar riff. And that's just like a little funky thing that came to my mind. And it could be whatever you want, whatever kind of musical idea you come up with, but this is just a good one to start with. It's fairly simple. So the hi-hat pattern that we're gonna play is Okay, now if you notice, we have a couple sweeps happening with the left hand. This nice little accented note that's coming in. Now this note, you can always do this in your grooves, bring your left hand right underneath that eighth note. Because remember, your, your right hand's playing the eighth notes. But you have this whole subdivision of sixteenth notes, all the E's and the U's that you can be throwing in with your left hand. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be throwing one E and. So that E of the one, we're going to be throwing in there. One E and, two E and, uh, and then the uh of two, we're gonna be throwing that accent in there. And this can be a subtle note that you throw in, but in this example, I want this to come through strong and that nice offbeat accent kind of makes it sound funky. So we're gonna throw in that as an accented note. So again, that looks like this. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the hi-hat on the and of three, close it on the four. Now you don't need to open your hi-hat all the way. It sounds a little bit too much. You want it to just be a nice little simmer, a little sizzle in there. Okay, so even less than that if you want. So here's what I mean. Let's play it all together. Now let's start grooving with this at a few different tempos. Here we go. All right, that was pattern number one. It was pretty simple, just a couple accents and throwing in some offbeat 16th notes, opening the hi-hat in one spot, 
fairly simple changes, but it totally changes the feel of the groove. So these little changes in to spice up our grooves don't need to be drastic things. They're just subtle little things that we throw in and it really spices up the groove and changes the sound. All right, let's move on to hi-hat pattern number two. This one is super fun. It's got a great dancing kind of rhythm that we're doing. We're playing both hands on the hi-hat. It's basically all 16th notes. We have one area where we're playing an open note, so that's gonna actually take up an eighth note, but everything else is just these dancing 16th notes. We're utilizing those accents again. So here's what it sounds like. First off, we have the open hi-hat note on the and of one. One E and two, we're ending it when we bring down the backbeat with the snare. So close that hi-hat right when you hit the two, right when you hit the backbeat, okay? And you're gonna bring your right hand across for the backbeat, okay? The left hand's gonna stay up on the hi-hat the whole time. Now, we're gonna be accenting in three places, the uh of two and the and uh of three. So here's what it looks like with those accents. So what's nice about that is that you have that 16th note offbeat accent right before the three, two E and a. Uh. Make sure that's nice and accented with the left hand that's coming in. Then you have three E and a. Uh. So the and a uh are both getting accent right left before the backbeat, okay? Now all the other notes that you're playing without those accents, they don't need to be ghosted, but they don't need to be accented. They just need to be kind of in this nice sweet middle spot, okay? You Just to keep that continuous 16th note feel. All together, slow as molasses, let's count it together, here we go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Got it? Let's put it to a few different tempos, play this groove together, here we go. All right, moving on to hi-hat pattern number three. Let's do this, all right? 16th notes again on the hi-hat. Both hands on the hi-hat like the last groove. Now this one, the first accent is on the and of one. And then from there on out, we're accenting every third note. So we have. Now because we're accenting those off beats and it's every third note, it has this kind of triplet feel, although it's not. We're just playing 16th notes and we're accenting just every third note. So it's a great funky feel to this. Now, on the and of four, we are gonna be doing that open hi-hat and that's gonna finish out the groove. So four and, so through the uh, closing it to start the groove over. Now let's play that to click, and then what we wanna do is we wanna play all three of these back to back and just have fun grooving this out. And if this doesn't get your head bobbing, I don't know what's gonna get your head bobbing because this is the kind of grooves that just make you wanna dance. Let's do it.
Thank you guys for sticking with me through the whole lesson. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell, hit that like button. It really helps the algorithm and it helps my channel grow and reach more drummers like you. And the last thing I want to say before you go, guys, is make sure you take advantage of the free training that I've put together. I know you've probably heard me say this week after week, but if you haven't signed up, you're really missing out. A lot of self-taught drummers or drummers that are learning online, uh, you know, there's nobody there to really say, hey, you're missing this in your plane, or you skipped over this, you need to go back and relearn this. So this is just a great training that makes sure you're, co you're covering all your bases. You're not leaving something out in your drumming that's holding you back. So this is just a great all around foundational training so you can build a strong foundation on the drums and just keep getting better month after month, year after year. So check that out. I'll see you guys in there as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for sticking with me. I'll see you in the next lesson next week. Thank you. Thank you.